Hello students and welcome to another video lecture on logic design. Binary data when transmitted becomes susceptible to noise that can alter or distort its contents. Error detecting and correcting codes are techniques that enable reliable delivery of digital data over unreliable channels. In this video lecture, we will learn about an error detecting and correcting code called as block parity. When several binary words are transmitted or stored in succession, the resulting collection of bits can be regarded as a block of data having rows and columns. Parity bits can then be assigned to both rows and columns. This scheme makes it possible to correct any single error occurring in a data word and to detect two errors in a word. I want you to remember these underlying words that is correct a single bit error and detect two bit errors. Let us understand this with an example. Let us say you have six eight bit words. So you can see that there are six rows each row is made up of 8 bits. Together, these form a 6 into 8 block of data for transmission. Now, let us add parity bits row wise. Also, let us add parity bits column wise. Note that the parity is assigned for each row and column and we are assuming that we are following the odd parity system. Recollect that in odd parity system, the number of ones in the data word including the parity bit should be odd. So, in the end we get a parity row and we also get a parity column. We also calculate the parity for the parity row and column assuming odd parity. We get it as 0. In the end, we get a 7 into 9 block of data that is 7 rows where each row is made up of 9 bits. Now this block is transmitted and is received at the receiver. At the receiving end, parity is checked again both row wise and column wise. Now let us imagine a scenario where errors were detected. In the transmitted block, notice the data bit that is emboldened in black. Assume that during transmission this bit gets changed to zero. This is highlighted in the received data in bold red. Now when the receiver starts checking for parity both row wise and column wise they will notice that there is a parity error in the third row since it does not confirm to odd parity. Also they would notice an error in the fifth column. Using this technique the receiver can very easily correct a single error in the transmitted data and to correct this all the receiver has to do is complement this bit. That means simply change this bit from 0 to 1. Recollect from the previous slide that this is a method which can correct only a single bit error. Let us observe another situation where the same data is transmitted but two bits are changing. In the transmitted block I have highlighted these two bits in the fourth row in bold black. At the receiving end these bits get changed during transmission to zero. I have highlighted the same in bold red. The receiver now proceeds to check the parity row and column. 
they will notice that there is a parity error in the second column and a parity error in the fourth column. However, there are no errors detected in any row. This confirms the theory that block parity can only detect 2 bit errors in data transmission, but you cannot correct the same. Most of the BCD codes that you have studied previously are of 4 bits. Here are some examples of 5 bit BCD codes. This is shown in the table. The first column lists the decimal numbers 0 to 9. The second column lists a code called as 63210 code. This is a weighted code except for the column with a weight 0. This code has a property that there are exactly two ones in each code word. In the third column, we have the code 2 out of 5 code. This code also has a property that there are two ones in each code word. This particular code was used in earlier days for telecommunication. There are different variants of this code. The one which is listed in the third column has weights assigned to each column as 74210. The shift counter and the 5111 code are also examples of 5-bit codes. I will leave you to figure out the pattern and the technique involved in writing these codes as homework for you. Let's also take a look at the biquinary code. This code is a 7-bit weighted BCD code. It is also given the word parity data code. Here each code word or code group consists of a 2-bit subgroup and a 5-bit subgroup. The 2-bit subgroup has the weights 5 and 0 and the 5-bit subgroup has the weights 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Thus the total weights read as 5, 0, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Notice that each subgroup contains a single one. To understand this, notice the code for zero. It has a single one in each subgroup. In the same way, notice the code for five. It has a single one in each subgroup. Similarly, you can notice this feature in the other codes as well. This is an error checking feature where each group has exactly two ones and each subgroup has a single one. I will leave you with the duty of trying to figure out how to write the code. In fact, the pattern can be very easily seen. That's all for now. Connect to the classroom for more videos and study material.